More people listen to podcasts using Spotify than any other podcast app out there. The most recent data from Buzzsprout, one of the top three podcast hosts in the world, shows Spotify as now having 36% of all podcast listeners, overtaking Apple Podcasts as the number one listening app by a significant margin. You can see this graph of listeners who have used Apple Podcasts versus Spotify over the last year, and just now in 2024 has Spotify become the number one listening app. Not only that, but this data from Podcast Index shows Spotify for Podcasters hosts over 27% of all podcasts in the world. That means there's a good chance that your next listener and many of those already listening to your show are doing it in Spotify. That means as a podcast creator, you need to think about how your show appears in the app. What Spotify specific features do you need to take advantage of, like having a video version of your show? Here are the top three things to do. Number one, really focus on the first 30 seconds to a minute of your podcast. Don't just have background music or small talk with you and a co-host. That first 30 seconds is key. When someone opens the Spotify app right here on the homepage, if they tap over to podcasts, you see the first thing that happens is a show that I don't already follow is automatically playing right here in the feed. It just automatically started playing and it has the description for that episode right here, which I can expand that description and learn more about this show. And if I wanted to listen to this full episode, I can just click play and I'm automatically listening to this full episode of the podcast. So you never know when your show might be suggested here in the podcast feed in the Spotify app to a new listener. So those first few moments of the show are really important. Also, the description for your episode, put some thought into describing the topic where those first few sentences of your description might generate interest or curiosity in a potential listener. So that's the homepage. But if someone goes over to search, there's an entire segment called podcast right here. This now highlights shows and all you see is really the artwork and title of your show. Then some categories down here, and there's an entire category dedicated to video. We'll get to that in a second. But knowing that the first thing someone might see is just your artwork and title of your show, having good packaging for your podcast is key number two. That podcast artwork and title might be the first thing that someone sees and makes them want to click on it. And someone might dive further into a category which your artwork and title can differentiate your show even more. Spend some time browsing the different artwork for the top shows in your category. Maybe take some design cues, what stands out to you as someone who's browsing a podcast app, and do those things. And what artwork doesn't jump out to you? Is having dark colors and just plain text kind of passable and doesn't make you want to tap it? And there's lots of tools out there like Canva and AI tools that can help you create podcast artwork if graphic design is not your forte. We actually have videos to help you on your podcast artwork. I'll put one of them up here and link it down in the video description. And number three, with Spotify being the number one listening and viewing app for shows, adding video to your podcast is key. Not only is there an entire category just dedicated for video podcasts, and if your show has video, it will make it more discoverable to more people. The Spotify experience of watching video is actually pretty great. Not only can you just play it here, expand the video, watch it in full screen, but you can also minimize this video window and it will automatically play in an audio only format for your listeners. You can swipe home and now you're just listening to an audio version of the show. And Spotify is adding more features all the time specifically for podcasters, even like these auto-generated subtitles. So now it's even better for accessibility or if someone just wants to read what you're saying, that's something you get with the video version of your show. And Spotify makes it really easy to share an episode of a show, actually adds your custom episode artwork with a little Spotify symbol when you're going to share it. And it makes it easy to share to something like Instagram stories or other social media platforms. If I wanna share it to social platform X, you get a rich text link right there and I can add a little description about the episode. So you wanna make sure you have a great hook at the beginning of your episode because it might autoplay for someone in the Spotify app. You want to make sure to focus on your podcast artwork and titles as that will be shown in the discovery section and adding video to your podcast is key. It will set your show apart from others. It'll have its own category in the Spotify app and more and more people are actually consuming and discovering podcasts via video. We recently talked about how YouTube is building more tools for podcast creators and more of Gen Z actually prefer video versions of podcasts and discover more shows because of that video. So maybe you already have an audio only podcast or you wanna start a show, but you're not sure how to add video. Well, Spotify and Riverside has actually teamed up to make that super easy. Step one, you can create a free account on Spotify for podcasters. It costs $0 and you can create a video and audio show and Spotify will do all the hosting completely for free. Then you can distribute that everywhere, both Spotify and other audio podcast apps, and download the video for YouTube. Once you log in to Spotify for Podcasters, there's a new episode button here in the top left. When you click that, you can upload a file you might have already created, 
but there's actually a create with Riverside button right here. Click that and you'll be brought to Riverside. You can automatically log in with your Spotify login and you can quickly record a new episode or edit one you've already recorded. When you record, you can choose video and audio right here. You've now been brought into the Riverside studio. Here you can record high quality video and audio content for your podcast and then it will distribute directly to Spotify. You choose your camera, microphone, and speaker output down here at the bottom. And the power of Riverside is you get high quality local video and audio files for you and people you invite to record with you remotely. If I want to invite someone, I can click this button in the top, copy this guest link, and they can load that link in Google Chrome, Microsoft Edge, or even open it in the Riverside app on their iPhone, Android, or iPad, and then record in high quality video and audio with you right here in the Riverside studio. When you're ready to record, just click the record button down at the bottom and that easily you're creating high quality video and audio content for your podcast and it will be distributed everywhere. You can make it visually engaging by sharing your screen, using media board files and more. When you're done, click the stop button here at the bottom. Those high quality video and audio files will then upload to Riverside so you don't have to deal with any local files on your computer taking up space. Then click edit recording down here and then you can use the powerful Riverside editor to put it all together. Just delete words and phrases like it's a Word document and you're editing your audio and video content. You can even add intros and outros using the plus button at the beginning and end of the timeline. And we have powerful magic tools like our set pace feature where you can remove the perfect amount of silence. We also have a remove filler word option called smooth speech. Take away all those uhs and ums. And we even have a magic audio feature which can make any microphone sound studio quality. So if you've recorded with your built-in laptop mic or iPhone microphone, magic audio will make that sound incredible. And because it's a video podcast, we have lots of tools like image overlays, where you can place images, slides, even add text overlays like names and URLs across your entire episode. When you're ready, click the export button in the top right corner, and that video will be sent directly back to Spotify. You don't have to download and upload it. Once it gets sent back to Spotify, put a title and description for your episode, maybe some custom episode artwork, and then you can publish that completely for free. And that's how to take advantage of all those features in the Spotify app where most podcast listeners are now consuming that content and create high quality video and audio that you can distribute everywhere. If you'd like to learn more about using Riverside, our powerful editing tools, or other AI tools like our Generate Show Notes feature, check out this playlist right up here where I walk you through the entire platform. And if you were looking to maybe upgrade your setup, get that studio quality audio and video at home, We'll have an entire video on that as well for different budget levels. You can check that video out up here. If you have any questions about Spotify and Riverside, leave comments below this video. I answer those personally. And don't forget to subscribe to this Riverside channel where we walk you through all the latest updates in podcasting. We do lots of gear reviews, more how-tos, and a ton more. Thanks for watching. We can't wait to see what you create.